My name is Amber Reed, R-E-I-D. Birthday, 122790. I'm turning 32, but like, I'm almost positive my like mental age, like my brain is stuck at 17. I'm actually starving, so. Oh, okay, yes, I troll. Whatever, troll land has entered the chat. I'm totally fine with a clickbait title because you guys know I love me a clickbait title. You're not paying attention to your health, you don't care about your health, you don't care about your body, you want to die, etc., etc. You could have ate healthy, you chose not to. Do you really need to go on vacation? You buy health insurance instead. I just don't want to hear it. No one cares! Bonjour tout le monde. Hello everybody. Grüße aus Deutschland. Greetings from Germany, from the good old United States of Europe. As I stated in my um, community tab, I did not see any necessity to react to Amber's latest video, but due to the influx of French comments everywhere, uh, I'm going to react to Zachary Michael's video. It's not really so much a react, uh, it's more like a co-commentary on what he said. I'm going to heavily uh, edit it, um, meaning cutting out parts where I don't have anything to say. And so um, I have to apologize for my voice. Um, I do have some kind of a cold that I had back in October already and it is kind of flared up again. Uh, but I'm feeling all right, except for the coughing spells. And so uh, I hope you can still understand me. And uh, so, yeah, let's uh, let's go. Do you hear the people sing, singing the songs of angry men? It is the music of a people who will not be slaves again. <laughs> He's the greatest. Oui, oui, bonjour, merci, hello, hi, everybody. How's it going? It's me, Zach, and this is Potato. This always cracks me up how the couch potato is sitting there in the chair behind him. Who's filling in for Judy today, who is very peacefully sleeping on the couch in the other room. And I'm back, back, back again with another Amber Lynn Reed video. Uh, and we got a lot to talk about. Um, some important things to do, like talking about this new wave of French-speaking supporters of Amber Lynn Reed, and also briefly, and I mean briefly, recapping the two videos that I'm not reacting to today that have been on her channel since I last did any kind of reaction situation type of deal. And of course, we'll be reacting to her latest video, which I believe features her talking about her experience going to the weight loss surgery seminar clinic situation type of deal. So let me first start off with <laughs> my very theatrical Les Mis opening situation that I just did, because I'm sure some of y'all are like, what the actual fuck? And if you're not a musical theater person, you're probably even more like WTF, what is going on here? Um, but I was singing a, a song from the classic uh, French Revolution musical Les Mis because <laughs> this weekend at some point, uh, not an actual, not a person from France, but a Belgium woman who speaks French posted a whole two-part docu-series situation type of deal on Amber Lynn Reed. Uh, yeah, and I gotta say, when I realized there are all kinds of French comments everywhere or uh, English um, comments with uh, like French names, like as a European, you, you, can, you can tell like uh, French first or last names. And um, when I saw that, I checked into the videos. I watched one of them briefly, but she speaks so fast that the caption translate was just horrific. But I got the gist of it, and uh, I'm gonna see what Zach says, and then I'm gonna comment on that as well. Uh, but it is true, a lady from uh, Belgium is trying to break into the American YouTube market, and so... Um, 
who could you pick except for celebrities you have to pick somebody infamous in the united states or worldwide by now because um viewers and reaction channels of amberlyn reed of course are uh, global by now and the reason i know that is because i've gotten comments from all over the world uh, when i did reactions to amberlyn reed videos and uh, people globally are as equally frustrated with her uh, as we are here in germany and of course a lot of people in the united states and it has resulted in a lot of people being very supportive of amber which i think is great good for her uh yeah, I think so too. And um, uh, you know how we manifest things sometimes. And so uh, Amber has been mentioning that she wants positive, uh, uh, positive reactions, positive uh, feedback on her videos. I don't know how you can still give her positive feedback on what she does and says on her channel, but she wanted positive feedback. Well, here you have it, girl. Now you can lose weight, uh, unless that was just an excuse. Which, guys, we, we all know that that's what that is. Uh, but yeah, now she's getting all the positive feedback, and uh, let's see what she does with it. Uh, you know, I think everybody's allowed to have an opinion one way or the other, no matter how right or wrong it is. Um, I totally agree with Zach here. Um, from what I've read is... Um, the uh, how how do i who how do i state this without offending anybody so the comments that i did see in french um, and in uh, uh, here and there broken english um, indicated that uh, everybody that came from watching these two videos on that um, ladies uh, channel from uh, belgium had uh, very obviously not done any research on amber or on the reaction channels uh, they just you know watched the videos took everything um, as fact and uh, they are now flooding uh, the comment sections of a lot of reaction channels and of course of amberlyn reed but since i don't touch her channel at all I do not click on any of her videos, I do not comment, I do not read comments because every time I click on her channel on a video she gets a view and that will only enable her to buy uh, you know, more food. I mean a decent amount of income is necessary for all of us to survive but what she's been doing with the excess money that she's been getting for uh, sitting on her butt and turning her phone sideways uh, is is ridiculous and that is also what got her to by now what 540 pounds but in the meantime between time it has also resulted in myself and or other amberlyn reed reaction channels getting an influx of people on our own videos and our own comment sections letting us know just how terrible we are and honestly i can only speak for myself in this situation you know i welcome people to have a differing opinion from me all the time it's something i really truly have no problem with uh, but also just want to note that a lot of these people clearly have not invested any time in learning about Amberlynn or the Amberlynn Reed community, reaction channel community, etc. I absolutely agree. That's what I found too when I uh, uh, read some of the comments in French or in uh, in uh, more or less broken uh, English. Um, it seems like they just uh, ran with it. You know, they they took uh, everything for a fact that the Belgian lady said and just. Uh, you know ran with it and i uh, have no problem with somebody not agreeing with me um everybody needs to you know live their lives feel their feelings express themselves uh, but i do reserve the right to um to censor them on my channel um because what i also found is and this goes a little back i don't want to get too too deep into it um, but I've had two American husbands and um, every time uh, French people touched our lives, it became clear uh, that some of them um, hold some kind of resentment against Americans and I'm not sure why. And um, I, I never checked into it, but from some of the comments I could tell that uh, some French people are uh, taking out their frustration over Americans and the American cultures in their 
uh, comments which I found strange because um, Amberlynn Reed is a very very bad uh, display of um, being over oversized you know having eaten way too much and being lazy and still being loud mouth um, some some of the attrib attributes which um, I've heard in the past French associate with Americans and I do not identify with that at all and I do not agree at all and so again I would reserve the right um, to censor uh, comments like that outside of the video that was produced by this creator. Now I have a pretty strict boundary for myself that I don't seek out other content about myself because it's just not something that I find to be helpful but certainly if people are in my comment section that's where I've always like asked for people to share any feedback that they have for me because I do pay attention to it there. Um, if it's in there I'm gonna like at least read what people are saying for the most part although I can't get to every single comment everywhere. However, this was like an influx of comments, like many more comments than I'm used to getting in, in a period of time on a video that I posted a week ago. Uh, I understand that and I agree I saw that um, and I also saw it on other reaction channels and uh, it, it was just out of control. Okay, so uh, it was hard not to notice that there were several people coming and sharing their thoughts with me. And to be honest, they also took it to Twitter as well. So I got all kinds of French-speaking people everywhere. It really is clear to me that they haven't spent a lot of time outside of that documentary. Absolutely correct, because otherwise they wouldn't know what we're talking about. Like learning about the community, understanding who I am, understanding who Amber Lynn is, because they like full on are just like regurgitating the same information. And at most, I've seen one clip that this one person literally replied to my tweets like 12 different times with uh, that I assume is from the documentary where I said something along the lines of like Amber Lynn being. Um, a garbage human or something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing. And to be honest, regardless of whatever the context of me saying that at the time was, I truly don't remember. I'm pretty sure it's from like 2018. I'm throwing myself in the same pot here because I've been saying countless times on my channel that Amberlynn Reed is, is a horrific human being. She's displayed that on her channel since let's say for the most part since 2017 this is 2023 and so six years of that nonsense will get anybody uh, to wake up and say okay so maybe the haters are uh, are right um, and it didn't take me long and I trust in the intelligence of that French community that is uh, just all over the uh, reaction channels and Amberlynn Reed's channel um, that they will quickly catch on what we are talking about because they cannot unless they're biased um, in all seriousness assume that we're all haters and we're all bad people just harping on somebody that cannot defend herself that is not the case at all um, her horrific actions and words have been documented on her channel because she is, as I've said plenty of times, greedy enough to leave all those videos up so that she still gets the views for them. And um, she has done a whole bunch of things that are just completely out of control and she shouldn't have done them and since she did them she shouldn't have documented them but since she documented them maybe delete the videos. She didn't. She's greedy for the YouTube coin and so those videos are still up and for those of you that just arrived in the Amberverse there are all kinds of compilations of where she um, just acted horrifically and that is why so many people speak out against her uh, because she is taken advantage of uh, YouTube and she's been eating herself to over 500 pounds or my best guess now is 540 pounds and she visibly keeps gaining weight while she's holding TED Talks on her channel about how she's uh, losing or how she's making healthy choices and she is just simply not. And if um, 
something I cannot stand at all. If I had to pick one thing in life that I hate the most or that I cannot that that I have no tolerance for is when people lie. And she does it in every single video and even in uh, to such a degree that sometimes she contradicts herself within seconds. And so um that is additional to slandering ex-spouses and abusing pets on her channel documenting it and leaving the leaving the videos up um, are just some of the things she does that enrages people and i'm sure that uh, the french commenters will soon get to a point where they re realize yeah okay if we we can forgive her for everything and we still want to love her and support her please please go ahead don't let me stop you uh, but when it comes to animal abuse and uh, uh, spousal abuse, uh, you know, maybe that's where you draw the line too. So I don't remember what the context of me saying that was, but I think if you have consistently watched my channel, even in just the past two years, um, since 2020, I, I made it a point to really change the way I consumed Amber Lynn's content, watched Amber Lynn's content, talked about Amber Lynn's content, made videos here on my channel. And, you know, I, I don't think that in today's context of my channel, I would ever call Amber Lynn garbage or a garbage human or anything like that. Maybe in hindsight, I would probably not say that then either, but it is a thing that I did. And one thing I've always prided myself on is like, my channel is here. I've only ever actually deleted one video and it was a video about Nikocado Avocado and Trisha Paytas to be honest with you and so if there's ever anything on my channel that you have questions about you can go back in time and watch those things here on my channel and get the full context. Either way, everybody's welcome to be here. Everybody's welcome to share their thoughts, feelings, and opinions. But I know a lot of people were in my comments like, why are all of these French-speaking people here? Why are all these French-speaking people in Amberlynn Reed's comments? Um, I was wondering about that too because I'm pretty sure being a, a living in a neighbor country of France that the French are aware of the fact that uh, not everybody on the planet speaks uh, uh, French. And so them flooding the comment sections of several channels uh, with French comments would be like me and a whole bunch of Germans, Asian channels and uh, leaving German comments. I mean, it, it makes no sense, but uh, Again, I, I agree with uh, Zach, everybody has the right to express uh, themselves and uh, have their own opinion and so if they feel that that's how they want to express themselves, more power to them. I, I can't fault them for it. This woman from Belgium made a docu-series about Amber Lynn and of course I think the other thing to keep in mind is that it was a documentary about Amber Lynn, right? So it wasn't even also a documentary about me or any other reaction channel, but included like a clip here and there. Um, yeah, she did include clips and um, I, I, didn't, I didn't appreciate it. I mean, again, it's pretty clear that she did not do a whole lot of research and the people that are commenting based on watching her two videos didn't do any research either. Um, otherwise, they would know what kind of a person Zachary Michael is. Also, I would like to speak out on behalf of um, uh, Mr. Snowflake. I mean, he's like one of the nicest people you can meet. And um, he did a documentary on Amber and maybe they should watch that first to understand why some of us are really frustrated with uh, Amber Lynn Reed. And um, uh, the clip that I watched, I didn't watch for long because again, um, that uh, lady from, from Belgium uh, speaks really fast and so the caption translation was just horrific. Um, but um, she also referred to a um, to a petition on change.org where um, people had called for Amberlynn Reed to be removed from YouTube uh, because she is exploiting her uh, slow self, you know, her suicide um on on the youtube platform and she even quoted that uh, amber makes a thousand dollars a month and that is just um 
completely out of date and not correct and so um, it seems like she just it seems to me this is my personal opinion um, it seems to me that she wanted to break on the American um, YouTube market and so she picked somebody where she figured yeah I'm gonna get a whole lot of um, views from that not that she needs it I think from what I saw is um, she has over 400,000 um, subscribers but uh, the way she talked and how uh, you know uh, affected she was um, I think she you know and, and plus she didn't do much research um, I assume that um, yeah she she only did it for the views and not to really portray a truthful picture of what is going on in the amberverse without like any of the clips where i talk very positively about amberlynn where i share support for amberlynn yeah he does that all the time but uh uh the belgium lady did not reflect that at all and so i think all of those things are important to take into account but it's none of my business and honestly truly it's obvious that these people coming into my comments and or amberlynn reed's comments are not people who actively watch my channel anyways yeah it, it really didn't come off that way but again i only watched a short clip so i'm certainly welcome to hear feedback but i also know that uh the people who watch my channel on a day-to-day -day basis know what I'm about, who I'm about, etc. And yes, we do, Zach, and we appreciate your voice of reason. And know that I, you know, I'm not that person, <laughs> or I'm not the person that the people uh, who are speaking French in my comments would like to make me out to be. Absolutely, they they need to take some time and do some research, and then they'll understand. So anyways, cheers to the Belgian lady who featured me in her documentary and thanks for the ongoing uh, continued engagement with my videos, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I just thought I needed to address it. And then I just have a few updates. She posted two videos before the one that I'm going to react to today. So I'm going to give you the most brief of updates because honestly, um, one was a weigh-in video, which you all know I don't like to spend a lot of time focusing on that content when it's the sole thing that she talks about in her videos. And the other one was a pretty boring <laughs> vlog, like pretty uneventful, non-exciting vlog. So the weigh-in video, um, the I guess the most important update that happens in it is that she shares that she is 520 pounds, which is the same weight that she weighed on January 1st. Uh, which means, and I've predicted it, that she has not put any kind of effort into losing weight other than what she told us uh, she would and that is no surprise because anybody that's been following her weight gain journey um, for a few years knows that she just continuously gains and um, you know while she's pretending to be on a weight loss journey. If that's of importance to you, I just wanted to share that information. And the rest of that video spent a lot of time talking about um, addiction and her thinking and sharing about her like brother's addiction. Which I find horrific that she shares that on her channel. I, I cannot understand what she is thinking, except for she, she just wants to get the views and she's uh, clickbaiting her family's uh, trauma and so yeah her mom's addiction her dad's addiction um, her talking about if that ha has translated into a food addiction or if she really it does just have binge eating disorder and she claims she's really going to take time to find that out now even though like she has been diagnosed with binge eating disorder by other people but i guess it's going to make a difference now if like whatever psychologist she talks to from the weight loss surgery clinic tell um, it's very hard to to stop him. He is his sentences are very long. Um, I don't think she's ever been diagnosed with binge eating disorder. And anybody that has questioned her on her eating habits um, would have come to the conclusion that she just overeats. Uh, it's it's not binge eating. That is a, a violent need to 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 eat a lot of food but I don't want to get into it I'm not a healthcare professional 
but from what I've seen on her channel since 2018 and even uh, videos before that, she just has no self-discipline, no, no self-restraint and she cannot stop herself from constantly stuffing her feelings because she has not learned any other method to deal with her emotions. Her. Otherwise, I don't know, there's a lot there that I don't have a lot to discuss or talk about or thoughts or feelings. Uh, the one thing that I do, I think maybe take some kind of issue with is like, I do agree that when you are related to somebody who is struggling with addiction and things like that, like their story is very much your story as well. Like having known people who've gone through addiction or like have experienced family members with addiction, I think that's really real and true and I definitely understand why that's like very difficult for her to deal with. Um, I, I also said when I was reacting to the same part, I also said that it works the other way around. So uh, the strain that her situation and her not doing anything to fight her food addiction and her um, uh, constant overeating, her inability to, to not reverse it, but um, control the the intake of food here and there so that she doesn't continuously gain weight also has a strain, an emotional strain on her relatives and I haven't heard her say that yet. Uh, it's it's um, mostly like from the perspective of victim Lynn. Um, so her brother struggles with uh, drug addiction, her mother struggles with drug addiction and the father I think with alcohol and um, she talks about them and w how it impacts her uh, but not the other way around with and I would never discredit that but what I will say is that I, I do take somewhat issue with her like talking so openly about her brother's current issues with addiction um, that really kind of feels like something that should be like his story to tell exactly I absolutely agree with Zach and you know she didn't give a ton of details but she gave enough you know and I, I do question some of that and like how that's helpful to him or not helpful to him really is what I what I should say um, and so I do I do question that a little bit but obviously like you know she she can share whatever she wants about her life her story that's like up to her and uh, absolutely true but I I could see where if he watches her channel um, that it hurts him you know, like, like him. Im imagine him feeling responsible for her eating herself to that size uh, by his ongoing food addiction. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just, I just do question a little bit of like, is it the right place or time for you to share about, uh, you know, your brother getting arrested for drug-related charges and things like that? Like, I don't know if that's your story to tell. Either way, um, that's that's all I have to say about that first video, the weigh-in video, that's that's about it. And honestly, the vlog, <laughs> uh, not much more to say about that either. Here, I, I had took the notes for once on my phone instead of, I usually have like a little Google Drive doc open where I have the video pulled up over here and I'm typing notes over here, but I was just sitting on my couch watching YouTube and I took notes over here, okay? So here's what, here's what I have to say. It, Okay, so this is where I'm gonna stop it because this video is very long as it is and I'm gonna try to cut some parts out. Um, I just wanted to give um, my opinion on what is going on like with all these French comments. Um, again, everybody's welcome globally, you know, to comment and express their opinion. Uh, but it, uh, it would be advisable to have done some research uh, prior to trying to convince people that uh, your five minutes in the Amberverse uh, qualifies you to um, change people's minds that have watched her for years. Uh, hundreds of videos, in some cases even thousands. Do you know what I'm saying? And so I want to leave it at that. I was thinking about, you know, Zach is going to um, react to her uh, latest video. I'm not going to do that uh, because we all know um, she was at that event where she had to pay attention and then somebody sent me a screenshot of a post where a person apparently was in the room with her and uh, YP had to, uh, uh, supposedly had to um, keep telling her to pay attention and not be on her phone. Uh, I, I don't know, you know, I, I don't care. 
Uh, from where I stand, um, I know she's not taking it seriously. She continues to gain weight even though she's clickbaiting. Um, this time around the uh, whole category of thoughts around weight loss surgery since December or even November, I can't remember. Uh, but it actually makes no difference. She's been clickbaiting it and she's going to continue to clickbait it. And um, with the way she's been gaining weight, you can tell she's not taking it seriously. Um, she's only exploiting and monetizing her uh, food addiction and her weight gain. And so there's there's nothing new going on there. And so, yeah, I'm going to uh, cut it off here. Let me know what you think. And um, I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.